Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. Uh, well, for spring calving cow herds in Oklahoma, uh, the breeding season is here or it's knocking at the door for us. This week, we're going to address some of the pros and cons of heat synchronization and AI breeding. First, to talk about the potential benefits of heat synchronization. If our heifers are of adequate age and weight and have reached puberty, or our cows are at least 50 days postpartum and a body condition score five or better, by synchronizing cows, we can actually shorten our calving season. We can see a lot more calves born early in the calving season. And when it comes marketing time, it can result in a more uniform set of calves that are heavier just because of age that gives us an advantage there. The other nice thing about heat synchronization is that it facilitates AI breeding. And if we're going to be working cows to actually set up heat, uh, using bulls of superior genetic merit with semen that's commercially available is another upside to potentially increasing weaning weights through superior weaning weight genetics. Now, some of the downside of heat synchronization is that it's going to require a lot of time to detect heat. That's a very important part of a successful AI breeding program. And we're going to have to have adequate facilities to permit us to work these cows several times in a heat synchronization protocol and potentially AI breed them. The upside of that, the heat synchronization protocols that are covered in chapter 31 of the most recent edition of the OSU Beef Cattle Manual. You can find some in there that are going to facilitate a fixed time AI, which is going to minimize the amount of time we spend in heat detection. So if you take a look in that chapter, you'll see some heat synchronization protocols that are a better fit for heifers, a better fit for mature cows. Some require heat detection, some don't, but there's a lot of options out there. Thanks for joining us this week.